I will say on, I will say on that, on that fact too, because someone asked me this question, and they said, you know, there there have been hints on characters that have exhibited, uh, you know, LGBT relationships in the game. And as she turns around, she sees standing behind the rest of you. There's Kima. We've brought you a present. There's this moment where they both kind of look at each other quietly, and then Allura kind of steps forward and says, "Kima, welcome back." And they both just run and give this big kind of embracing bear hug. She lifts Kima up. But a lot of a lot of characters that seem to be, you know, just husband and wife type personalities. You know, are those only you know only a small number of people? And I'm like, no, I don't. I don't make a big deal out of sexuality in the game unless it comes up because I don't think it's something that should drive the story. It just exists in the world. I think there's relationships of all kinds in Exandria, and I think culturally, just like in the real world, some places it's more appropriate than not based on wherever they live. And I doesn't mean I agree with that. You know, and by any means, I, I'm a very much a, a, a believer that love is love, no matter where you find it. Um, and there are places in Exandria where uh, it is more acceptable than others, and that's that, that's a whole different story element that might come up depending on where you travel in the world. I don't know. I mean, guys, um, we're in Hollywood. We're all lefty communists. I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> from we're a long good. line. We're, yeah. we're good. <laughs> but uh, but from but, a long line. but yeah, there, I I tend to I tend to err on the side, like many writers, on the err of the side of creating an interesting character who might just happen to be gay, or an interesting character that may just happen to be bisexual, or you know, I I, I don't. I try not to make that a defining characteristic of the personalities. That's My life. primary character trait is heterosexuality, and I mean as Liam. How <laughs> high you roll in your heterosexual role when we start into character? Yeah. Or <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Nor do I want to try and go out of my way to have a, uh, a one-off NPC that you encounter be like, oh, by the way, I have a wife and I'm a girl. Because then to me it seems like it's yeah. forced, it's shoehorned, yeah. and now it's not about the story, it's about that relationship. Whereas if the relationship were to come about as part of the story, then that's just how it is. Uh, you can see this kind of very, very strong bond of, of friendship. Uh, before she eventually puts Kima down and takes the baby, she holds her hands for a second, you can see a tear kind of running down Allura's cheek, and she goes, I was so worried about you. And Kima kind of sheepishly turns her eyes to the side, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> kind of reaches her hand out in front of Kima's head and kind of rustles her hair for a second and says, we had many of us worried sick. You can't keep running off like that. Which Kima goes, I know, I know. And then Laura turns to the rest of the group again and says, Thank you all so, so very much. You, you've done the realm and myself a great service in bringing her back. At which point uh, Kima says, Bring me back. They, they help me complete my quest. And you have some strong allies, Ali. And uh, Laura kind of looks back to her, starts heading back into her Allie. tower. Grog and Vex, you feel yourself pushed apart as Kima rushes up and just grabs her around the side and says, don't do that again! He kind of holds her for a second and you know, Lord just kind of rubs her hair and says, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I should have been careful. We needed allies, I didn't know. And Kima says, you shut up, and just reaches up and gives her a kiss. Aww. And she kind of takes her and holds her to her chest as uh, Laura holds her and you hear Kima kind of quietly sobbing for a moment. Do you need company? No, I can travel faster on my own. All right. Besides, I can always go ahead and uh, can bring a friend. Um, How is Kima? Uh, make a perception check, actually. Jesus. Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one. Uh, interesting. One thing you do catch, um, though subtle, um, is as she has her hands folded on one side, you do see like a small gold band across one of her fingers. Ooh. She's hitched. Wait a minute. Did you guys get married? <laughs> it, it was. It was very small, very private. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I, <laughs> sorry, this is conflicting emotions in this moment right now. Of um, thank you. When did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> I was curious if she was going to explode. Ah, <laughs> uh, not but four months ago. We just oh. was on a whim. Uh, we thought and discussed a lot about all the dangers we'd faced over the years together, and with you, and the reality of not knowing how long either of us have on this planet. And forgive, at the very least, why not? I think it's brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. While the schema figure is keeping it casual, she is very intently reading each of you, head to toe. And it's definitely kind of imposing herself at a slight angle to put a shoulder almost between Allura and the rest of you in a protective fashion. 
Kima kind of gives a look. Oh, I... I'm sorry. I just thought you were a bunch of yahoos that ruined our morning to sleep in. I mean, they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah. Kima yeah. really kind of kind of sits over on one <laughs> one side of her, her armored leg and looks too alluring and goes, I mean, do you think... And the Lord goes, <laughs> no, I'm not losing you again. But look, if we're lending stuff, and Kima walks up towards Yasha, I don't know you. Fair. I, I... But I like your style. Oh, thanks. <laughs> really style. Looks back at Allura. If you go out there and get killed and don't come back, I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna kill you. Okay. She hands you the handle of the blade. The platinum greatsword? Mm-hmm. Uh, really? Can I loan you one of mine for, uh, so you have something? Yes, please, that'd be great. Okay, uh, take your pick. Magician's Judge or Skin Gorger? Skin Gorger? Really? I didn't name it. Okay. <laughs> it does look pretty cool, though. And Allura goes like, Kim, uh, I don't want that in the tower. He <laughs> <laughs> goes, I'll take the Judge. I'll take such good care of it, I promise. <sighs> look, I haven't used it in years, so at the very least, maybe it'll find some use in your hands. In my hands, it will find some use. I so sure can't go with them, and Allura's every like... Every single night. Allura goes, Kima. Please, just stay with me. 